Hi, welcome to a RoboFlow training movie. In this training movie, I will talk about uh, how to read an XML file. Um, this is an addendum up on uh, another training movie called Hot Folder Ingest Largest File in Folder. In this workflow, the final part is to find an XML file in the same folder of the file that has been ingested and uh, import the metadata field. Um, if we look at the workflow by default, um, you can read an XML file um, and um, then store that XML file as a flat table with keys and uh, values and those keys will be the path of the element in an XML file. If I show you an example of an XML file, this is an XML file and if I want to get to this element here, if I want to pick up this value in a normal X, uh, pr procedure, I would just say I need slash template complete. Uh, content slash CMS value slash lang slash text. The only problem with that logic is um, in this XML file, some of the tags are repeating themselves. Uh, they are only unique by a parameter specified for that specific tag. That is not standard, a uh, standard way that uh, RoboFlow recognizes elements uh, in an XML table. Um, so uh, with a little parameter, you can um, change that. So imagine that I would pick up a value and the value of the XML file uh, was stored in this path, as I showed you in the XML, uh, template content, CMS, lang text. And this was the normal path to this element, this, 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 just with slashes. That would be a way to get to those elements and the instructions that would take care of that uh, would look uh, like this. Oh, I'm in the wrong part. It's here uh, in this example, I'm cataloging the file. Now I'm looking for the XML file. And then imagine I find the XML file and what I do is I store this XML file. I found the path of it, so I store it as a file. And then in the next instruction, I read the XML file into an XML table. In uh, Java, that, that is a hash table. And each level is a hash table. And so it's text elements inside a hash table, which is inside a hash table, inside a hash table, until you reach the top level of your XML file. And so the bottom is the text. This text string element is part of uh, a hash table and then a hash table above has this value, a hash table above has this value, etc. And so that's not something easy to process. So in there is a function in, in, um, in RoboFlow that allows you to flatten that structure. So it concatenates the keys uh, into a path and only stores the text values. And that's what that instruction does. And here in this workflow, as an example, I'm outputting that into, um, oh, sorry, into the, um, into the log. Uh, I'm outputting the text XML key that I'm find and then the test XML itself. Uh, now, um, I don't need to do this and you could do this to find something specific. All I need to do is store that flat table as stored texts, which means that the keys in that flat table become stored tags as being a result of a text storing, uh, like you would have a stored text. And that's uh, what it does. It, it goes over all the elements and now suddenly all these parts of that XML file become available as a stored text. And that's why we can use here the simple instruction tag with the, the tag we are expecting. Um, now what is special in this example is that I had to add an additional parameter, which is ignore XML param parameters as ID. That's the default value 
is for this is true, which means internally it does not take in, can, when it reads an XML file, it does not take in consideration these MD media description. Uh, and it doesn't care about this name, it doesn't care about this set or, or anything. But in this case, we need to take care, uh, we need to use it because uh, this CMS value is an MD media description and that's the one we're looking for, while this CMS value is something completely different, which we're not looking for. So that's why it's important to um, to use those parameters and by specifying this special parameter it is creating the key uh, concatenated with those parameters so name equals and the media is actually the part that has been added here because on this CMS value that is what going to make it unique yeah. behind the scenes if these CMS values exist multiple times uh, RoboFlow internally uh, will will do something like this with it and it will come up start having a counter and it's element number one element number two but since an xml uh, per se does not have an order in which the things are in there it could well be that the first time uh, it encounters this element that the cms value would be uh, of the media description would, at, would be at the beginning of the file and then in the next release it would be at the end of the file which would break the logic of this workflow. Just by uh, using this special encoding, uh, special parameter that tells RoboFlow, hey, don't ignore the parameters, use them as an ID, uh, it, it adds the ID, the tag, it adds that to the tag. You notice that it doesn't do that for these levels actually behind the scenes it does because actually behind the scenes it saves it like this and it saves it like that and it saves it in with each variation of the parameters that are in there so imagine that you're looking for a specific language and maybe your xml file file had five languages in there then you would uh, do colon name equals and media description slash lang, and then it would be maybe uh, value one, uh, value equals one, which could mean uh, English, or it could be value equals en for abbreviation for English, or whatever is in that XML file, you could use that also for a more detailed specification of if there was multiple languages involved. But, but this is um, what brings you and the content of that XML file, as I said, if there's no multiple values and you uh, then you can just specify it uh, like this. But because we have multiple value of these and a parameter makes it unique, we can use that unique part of that parameter just by adding it to the key. And that only works if you have added this special parameter to your workflow. And so you can also have the values of these parameters as uh, parameters. There is, by default, this is ignored. And so now you cannot get to the word media, uh, MD media description as a value. Yeah, it's a key, it's part of this key, but it can be stored uh, under uh, the, the tag, that path up to here to name uh, as a value of that. Um, in that case, you would add a new parameter, which is called ignore XML underscore parameters, and you set that to false. And then it will also, it will store the values as, uh, the parameters as a value and not as an ID. So you cannot have both. It's either, and it's not uh, a scenario for both. It's either. Okay, so um, as I said, that uh, then picks up uh, the, the file and the metadata. So if I click on start, it brings in the first record. And if we look in the record, we can see that it has picked up the value which we were looking for in that XML file here, this one. So you can see that uh, that's the path it took to find it. So thank you for joining this training movie. 
I know this was a little bit technical, but it's an addendum on to the other training movie about uh, this workflow. So thank you for joining another RoboFlow training and see you in the next one.